G'day gamers! In this video I'll show you how to build three essential starter farms that pretty much everyone should use, except I've put my own aesthetic twist on each one. If you're like me and love having your worlds looking amazing, then you've come to the right video and channel. I have a lot more aesthetically pleasing farm designs, so feel free to check them out. Alright, let's get straight into the first farm design. Starting off the gold slash XP farm, we're first going to create a rectangular hole in the ground that is three wide, four long, and three blocks deep. Next up, let's go ahead and place six hoppers in this specific configuration so that they're all pointing towards the middle front one. Next, go ahead and cover each of these with a stone slab block. And then underneath the final hopper here, we're gonna be placing in a double chest. Then we're gonna add a basalt pillar here and chuck some ladders on as well. And we're gonna extend this up later, but just leave it here for now. Next up, let's go ahead and create the base of all of the pillars using some polished basalt. Next up, let's go ahead and raise each of these pillars up nine blocks high in total, and that is including the first block that we've already placed. Next up, let's go ahead and add on the front roof trim design using some stone slabs and stone stairs. Next, heading over to the left side wall, we're going to first place in a bunch of stone bricks like this, and then we're going to continue our trim design all the way over to the other side. And then in line with the trim here, we're gonna place in some stone brick stairs and then transition it into some inset stone walls all the way up until the top. onto the back wall design we're going to repeat the exact same roof trim that we did on the front and we're also going to be adding in some doors as well on this back side and then for the opposite side wall we're going to again repeat the exact same thing that we did for the other side wall Next up, we're gonna head on to the interior and we're gonna be placing in some stone slabs and stairs to smooth off everything on the interior. Don't worry too much about placing these exactly as I have. Then we're gonna add some stone slabs around the ladder here for the floor. Next up, we're gonna be adding on those doors that I talked about previously. So let's first place in some upside down stone brick stairs and then we're going to fill that little gap there with some stone bricks. Replace the ground blocks here with some stone and then place on some warped wood doors. Next for the interior, we're gonna extend these ladders all the way up to the top. And then we're gonna fill in the floor here with some stone blocks and then also end off our ladder here with a warped trap door. Heading back inside, we're going to place on some stone brick walls here with a warped fence gate in the center. And then on the inside here, let's go ahead and add in some warped trap doors. Make sure you place these and open these in the exact same way that I have because the pigmen see it as a full block and they walk on top of it not knowing that it's actually a hole and they fall down inside. Then go ahead and add on some soul lanterns and also some chains all the way from the roof down here with a soul lantern on the end and then chuck on some soul lanterns on the outside as well. And that's it, now we're all done. I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and use this thing. So as there's a bunch of pigmen around us, we can go ahead and head inside our tower through the back door. We're gonna head up the ladder. Make sure you also have a bow and arrow on you for this. You only really need one arrow. And then we're just going to snipe one pigman and then they should all be aggroed onto us and they'll all head down inside our little trap. And as you can see here, that's all of them just falling in nice and easy for us. And now we can head down grab out our epic sword and then just start swinging and get a bunch of gold items and XP. 
All right, now onto the sugarcane farm design. We're gonna go ahead and start off by placing a row of seven stone bricks like this. And then above it and to the left, we're gonna place in another row of stone bricks, this time too high. Then go ahead and add on a line of redstone on top of this row of stone bricks here. And then in front of all of this redstone dust, we're gonna be placing on just some regular pistons. Now on top of all of these pistons, let's place on some observers. Make sure you're placing them the same way as I am so that they're facing the correct way. And then behind all of those, place on just a solid block. Next up, heading around to the front, let's go ahead and add in a strip of grass blocks like this. Then use some spruce logs to cap off the sides here as this is where we're gonna be adding in our water. So with those placed, now let's place on our water stream and it should reach the other side easily. Now above each of these water source blocks here, we're gonna be placing on some more stone bricks. And now with the water in, we should be able to place in some sugarcane like so, and make sure to test it as well by placing some sugarcane above all the way up until it reaches the observer and that the piston should activate and give us our sugarcane. Now underneath the sugarcane here, let's go ahead and place in two powered rails at either end, and then we're gonna connect them up with some regular rails. Now let's go ahead and remove the central rail and also some blocks just like this. Next, let's go ahead and place in a double chest like so, and then we're gonna place two hoppers connecting directly into the chest and into the other hopper as well, like shown. And then we can go ahead and place our rails back over the top of that hopper. Now go ahead and surround that double chest with some spruce stairs, and then also surround those spruce stairs with some stone and andesite. Then on the ground, let's go ahead and replace some of these grass blocks here with some stripped spruce blocks. And then also go ahead and chuck on your minecart with a hopper. Now we're gonna head around to the back and we're gonna place a lever on each of these stone blocks at the very ends. And also be sure to turn them on as well. Then heading back around to the front, we're gonna place a polished andesite block at each end of the rails. And then our minecart with hopper should start going back and forth, just looping repeatedly. Now I've just gone back around and turned off that lever so that it just stops making that annoying sound. And now that's all of the redstone and mechanisms done, so let's go ahead and just create all of the walls, the roof, and all of the aesthetics.
Now here's just a quick little showcase on how to use this. So we're gonna head around to the back. We're gonna open these two trap doors on either end and we're going to go ahead and ensure that both of these levers are turned on. This should then turn on our minecart with a hopper. It should loop back and forth nice and easily. And then over time, you should see that we'll gather a bunch of sugar cane and it'll get picked up by that minecart and get sent straight into our double chest. All right, so starting off the cactus farm, first go ahead and place two blocks like this so that we can place some slabs in this orientation. We're basically gonna be creating a five by five grid out of these with some gaps in between all of them. Now with all of those placed, we're gonna go ahead and chuck on some sand blocks above all of those, and then we're gonna be placing some cactuses on top of all of those sand blocks as well. Next, let's go ahead and chuck some fences in between these cactuses. This is what stops the cactuses from growing any higher and actually pops the block off down into the water that we'll be adding below. And we're also gonna chuck some lanterns on top of those fences as well. Next up, let's go ahead and create the outline of the pillars and also the walls. Now these blocks for the walls here are upside down spruce stairs and then in the center is a stripped spruce wood block. Next up on the area that you want the front to be, we're going to remove a three x three square like this. And then we're going to actually extend it out one more block like this. And then we're gonna be placing a ring of andesite and stone around the outside edge like this. Then on the inner ring, place in some spruce stairs. And then in this central area here, place in two chests for a double chest. Also, here's a closer look at that wall design if you didn't really understand what I said before. We're also gonna be adding some stone underneath all of those as well, except for the front, which is stripped spruce blocks. Now heading to the very back, we're gonna be placing a row of water all the way at the back in a strip like this. And then heading to the very front here, we're gonna be placing a row of hoppers that all point in towards the central hopper, which then points in towards the double chest. Next, let's go ahead and raise all of the pillars up to five blocks high in total. And then let's go ahead and create all of the front wall designs. These are pretty easy to make. At the top here, beside the stripped spruce little column that we have, we're placing some upside down stairs on the central pass, and then on the outside bits, we're placing some spruce slabs. And now we're gonna go ahead and repeat this exact same design on each wall. Now I actually forgot to do the last wall here, but we do end up doing it later. But I have now started doing the trim for the roof using some stone slabs and also stone stairs. Now this trim design is repeated on every face of the build and they all link up together at the corners.
Now onto the actual main roof part. All we're gonna be doing is just pretty much linking up all of the trims together. Now the way this cactus farm works is that when a cactus grows, it'll hit the fence and automatically pop off into the water and into the hopper which goes into the double chest. All right, and that's it for all three of the automatic farms. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out my building tutorials playlist. And also there's another suggested video right here as well. See you guys in the next video.